Here we go. There's some real fucking amazing tracks that just blow you away, and there's tracks that just infuriate the fuck out of you. Like, I can see this being so much more. Hey! You're fucking me up, mate! He gives zero fucks. Zero fucks. I don't like this shit, mate! No, it's still here! No! I thought he'd get rid of it! Oh, you don't know, Jay. You don't know, you know about, about his life! Uh -huh. I feel like your voice is just so fucking pure and iconic that you just shouldn't mess with that in a way that just takes it away. Uh, ready? Oh, we good? Oh, we good, mate? Hello, guys, we're Jungle Beats. My name is J Lock Redemption. Let's fucking go. Let's 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 now, if you didn't understand what language that was, that was English. j Rock just released his album, Redemption. 100%. We review and react to music from all around the world. If you don't know who Jungle Beats are, you're fucking up. Yo, 9059, a classic. Follow me home, it's pretty dope. We watched the, the trailer to get into this shit. We don't waste any time. Because that would be just silly. Time is our greatest gift. It's a good time for, for Spotify to say, try it. An error occurred, try to- No, again. we don't have time for this, mate. We don't have time for these errors. We don't have time for this shit. Time is the most valuable thing that God has given us, mate. I thought you didn't believe in God. I don't. No, I do. I'm agnostic. Is it ready? Oh, oh, mate. Oh, bro. Oh, we can't do this shit, mate. We need to just start this shit now, mate. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, going. I'm going, I'm going. I'm, I'm going. a slug. I'm, I'm going. a little slug. Oh, J Rug, here we go. Oh, my Redemption, ready. 13 Ooh. songs. What's the first track? Track one, the bloodiest. Oh, we haven't listened to this yet. We know this is a single, but we haven't listened to it yet, so we're going to get this you now. Don't listen to this 1.25 speed. The bloodiest, J-Rock, when he comes in on that third verse. Good. It's like a machine gun. Good lord, oh machine gun. <sighs> we heard the song. That's an intro right there, bro. Oh, dang. That's I'm, a motherfucking intro. I'm glad we didn't listen to that. Because that's a bang, bro. I'm so glad we didn't as oh. well. And the production? Oh, the production is a highlight. The, the, was it the flute? The, the, uh, the Egyptian kind of, Arabian kind of thing. Mm. That was a beautiful touch to that song. I didn't catch too much what he was saying. Neither. I just, we were just feeling it. We were just <sighs> feeling it. We were in there. That's a dope motherfucker. That was YouTube. hard, bro. Dope track. I only listen to that a lot. Let's get to the next one. That's <laughs> oh, <it's> gorgeous, bro. <laughs> 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 Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Really? He would sound great on this. Like, 
Got it. Yeah. Coming through with the back, one with the set block. I say the power of a pussy is starving. That pretty flower of spoil you, then it poison you. You get amnesia to everything you were loyal to. And if I smash, do the dash, that's hocus pocus. She bound to cash, I ain't mad, I'm just not the vote. I fall in love with doing exotic drugs and playing inside the clubs. I'm never the one to cover. She think a big old lick, and I got rapper money. And child support is the legal way she can ask for money. Mm. It's a dope track. That's a really good track right there. Did you hear the, the contrast between the two verses? Was one about him like his side of like being with a woman but then, then he went to like the girl's side the to me the, the second verse was definitely talking about um his trajectory through females but the first verse seemed very self-reflective on his career on his music mm. and i really like the wordplay at the start of the second verse with how he experiences females i think it was very clever mm. uh, if you go back and hear that i like the the wordplay between like being like bogus and hocus pocus like had a lot of good little just words in there that played around with their um, love and I love the instru instrumental there. Strip back, smooth and really nice after the first track. I like the way it went straight into this one. Mm. And like I said, the hook—it sounded like a sample, could be a feature, but oh, and I would love to hear Schoolboy Q on this track. He would have fucking killed that shit. Give me a remix, man. <laughs> Fuck, that was dope. Strong <laughs> start. watched our videos before y'all know this man is very selective about his hooks and he takes no fucking he takes a stand against it's, shit hooks it's like you know it's it, but it's not just the hook it's the delivery as well to the start isn't it yeah the way he goes about the he sounds like he's trying to do like a smino sort of thing like you know how he's rapping with the da da ba da 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da yeah it's, it's like a he's different trying, style different flow yeah but it's someone else's style and you know, J Rock's got such a unique style that he should keep doing that style. Like, see, I'm not even mad at him trying I'm that mad. because he delivered. He he changed the delivery, changed the flow, tried something different. I'm okay with that. You got to experiment. <sighs> yeah, but experiment with things which people haven't done. I honestly think if you're going to do something you like at the beginning, get someone who already does that and is their style. Get them as a feature because his second verse fair, was fire. Fair, like yeah. when, when his second verse began, I was like, okay, it's this like, is the J Rock uniqueness yeah. that I I came wanting from this album. Yeah. So with the first, the first half, I'm just sitting there just like, I see what you're doing. It, it's working. People will eat this up, but I'm not here to hear this shit. I'm not here, here to hear you imitate someone else's style. I want to hear you do your style. So I didn't fuck with that song. I'm That's sorry. okay, man. I mean, sonically, again, we're continuing with that similar sonic direction, mm. kind of that, that subtle banger beat. Mm. Yeah, the hook was trash. <laughs> no, it wasn't trash to me, J-Rock. I, I, I don't mind it's, it. As long as we're not getting the whole album like how'd that. How do you know, man? Do you just see me sitting there just like, I can tell, man. I can just, I know your type of, you know, we learn about each other. We do. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hear that Super Mario sample? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
why? For another nigga who scared to rip his set right. Now solitary or push up by his bedside. All he want is a green eye. It's only keeping himself fly. Six feet under real life. That's all good. Yeah, that's all good yeah. shit. With young niggas on the misunderstood shit. Jumping out of smoking reels. Cage with the bull grips. Bitches for the fake statements. You come and hit a full split. Don't you know no good? Don't you know no uh. good bitch? That's fucking dope. Niggas child tap your name on that hood shit. Bitch, we bought that action on that wish you would shit. So we in the hood, the situations look grim. One time circling for colors of your skin. Black lives matter out here, no way. Cops get promotions while the family gotta pray. Yeah. You fake and you mad. You got an issue, you get fucked up. Get laid on your ass. You feeling bad, your blood's crushed up. We huh. in the set, just picking it like the Cosby's. Trying to get dope. Live happy days like Chachi. If you get it, don't you know no good? Don't you know no good, bitch? Don't you know no good, bitch? Don't you know no good, don't you know no good, bitch? So much better than the last track. That's one of the best beats on the album so far, oh. if not the best. That bass line is so dirty it's and like, heavy. And it's probably what he's, I think it's probably the most he's been saying on this album so far. I think, it, I think what I like about Jay Rock a lot is that he represents a community of people in California where he grew up um, mm. that is underrepresented and he, he really uh, takes the opportunity on tracks like these to help represent them. And I really enjoy that. Yeah, if you haven't watched The Road to Redemption, it's a good watch. And you see, like, Kendrick, Absol, the whole TD community talk about what J-Rock, like, who he really is and how he, where he grew up. And, like, he's, it's always just a part of him. And you can hear it through and through in this track, what he, what he represents through. What I mean, the cover is, is him in his neighborhood surrounded mm -hmm. by people, so. Like, he's saying a lot on that track. I fuck with the beat heavy. That's probably... My favorite track up of the first one so far. That's a really good track. It's the one that makes you give a permanent stank face. And I think the beat oh. matches his griminess and his aggression. And, and yeah, so well. I got the drink, I got the smoking rotation. Oh. Head on the swivel rotation. I got the back door swinging rotation. This is for double back and rotation. There we go. Kendrick on this. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it, K-Dot. We know, right? It's just like, and even like the ending, like with the he, the bridge, like I got the back, I got the back, I got the back, on the back, and back to the hook. It's like hook, really bad bridge, back to the hook. The verses were dope though. The verses were dope, which makes the contrast quite odd. Yeah, once again, it's J Rock. Like, he, it's good that he's trying new things, and I can see it appealing to the newer fans of hip hop because that's the sound that he's going for. But when your voice is amazing and raw as it is, like he did in the last verse. Yeah, like. I just want to hear that. I'm, like, if you want to try different things, maybe try different forms of production, but I feel like your voice is just so fucking pure and iconic that you just shouldn't mess with that in a way that just takes it away. Like, like the verse were good. I love the beat. The beat, the fucking hard hitting when it comes back in with that bass. But yeah, the hook and that bridge, I just don't fuck with. And for me, why I don't resonate with that hook to give us an explanation is because it, it almost feels soft. It doesn't carry the weight of his voice. He yeah. almost feels like he's undelivering. It's like he's quite yeah. soft, lowered down, mellowed down. Mm. I don't feel like it does the song, Sonic, and production justice. Yeah. If his voice is that raw, like, like listen to shoes like Money Trees, Deuce, and other, other tracks oh, like that. Like, stop look, it. Like, just having his hook, like, he can still have his hook, but with his voice. Like, he can still do that hook as he did there, but take away some of the auto tune and just let him, just let him do, do his thing. Even Outside if he's a bit of that, -tune. it's a good track. Yeah. Face down, ass up, bitches. Whoa! Cat shots, smoking on the bottom. Hey! Cat shots, smoking on the bottom. Jeez! Jeremiah's been everywhere, like, yeah!
she won't let me go. I was expecting some heavy bars. The beat's so good too. Like he gives zero fucks. Zero fucks. It's his own fuck, but then when he goes this part here, and then it should end right here. But then. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, way too much right now. It's too much. No, J Rock! No! You fucking me up, mate! I don't like this shit, mate! I don't like it! I'm done. I'm done. Motherfucker, you have three amazing tracks in this album, and then you have three average songs. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are good tracks. It is not for me. As I said before, your voice is so good. Why are you gonna fuck it up like this? And Jeremiah, your hook was so good until you kept repeating yourself. Right here, right here, right here. This bit. Stop it before this shit. Say tap out once. Or, st or include tap out somewhere in the hook. I just, I get it's catchy. The bitches want to sing in the clubs. I get that shit. Do you though? They're gonna be like, man, you don't know. You Oh, you don't know, j -Rock. You don't know about oh, his life. Uh-huh. You ain't know. This my boo. And the beat's so good, though. It's like all the tracks I haven't liked, the beats have been so good. And you've just been like, look, I get it. You try new shit. Redemption or some shit. I don't fucking know, but this is trash. Next track. Next fucking track. Motherfucker. Man, if y'all want to know my thoughts on it, you can email me. I'll make another video. <laughs> nah, you can, do you want to say something on this shit? You want to so, say something? No, no, so, no, no, no. You want to say something? It's so, I get the purpose of it, bro. You, he doesn't... He's harsh, man, but he's harsh but true. He's harsh but fair. Hold up, my mic's not on. There you go. What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, OSO and out of sight, out of mind. I love acronyms. Verse fucking got me. The the wordplay, that was. The, that's well, that's the best track right there. Uh, I think I still like the fourth track more, but that's that track well, there for I, me. For you, yeah, yeah. individually. <laughs> Ain't all about you, man. Ain't anybody gonna be like Mike? J Cole's verse was super smooth, mm. and uh, this track just proves how out of place the previous track yeah. Tap Out was. It's like. It's like he did a lot of the stuff for his music, but then like TDE was like, oh, what about the track for the club? What about the track for the girls? What about the track that like for the new school people? It's like you gotta cater to everyone. I get it. Oh. But I don't. Anyway, um, let's move on from that. That this track was absolutely dope. Love the production, the smoothness. J. Cole's verse, you're right. He was on his KOD shit again, if you heard. Like he's mentioned referencing the drug culture. Yeah. He was rep like depression. Even, mm. 
I love the Zoloft line. I, I see you, J. Mm. Cole. I like the way he ended it too. He ended it in a way which very much flowed into the hook. It was, uh, it was a really good track. Uh, and uh, J-Rock absolutely... J-Rock's verse. Oh, my just... God. I didn't think there was going to be a third verse. I was like, oh, yeah, J. Cole feature, two verse, ended on the hook. But then when J-Rock came in after the hook on the third verse, I was like... Oh, he came. Oh. He came. Oh. In your bitch. Oh, my God. He can come in anyone he wants. <laughs> the wordplay and uh, lyrical uh, deafness of that, that track was... It just had you super hyper engaged. Yeah, man, I got no more words. That shit was really good. It's just, it's just after hearing the last bit, it's like, he's got four out of eight to me. It's just like, now, oh, it's play with my this is interesting. This is interesting. What you're about to hear. If you fall Who's this? He's dead? What's he doing on this album? I mean, it's still hot. I freaked it. I freaked it. I freaked it. This ain't what you want. 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 Yeah, you see, you ain't gonna see. They like that little bitch. They like that little bitch. Who ain't like that little bitch? Man, like that little bitch. I ain't gonna hold you. I gotta go get it. 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 I ain't gonna hold 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 it. No, it's still here! No! I thought he'd get rid of it! Oh! Why is his verse still here? Oh my god! He had the one chance to get rid of it! And he kept it Wait, up! Ready? Maybe he got rid of it. Maybe Ladi Dadi Da Dadi Dadi Da is gone. Maybe it doesn't exist anymore. Nah, it's still here. Bitch, I'm on the road. Put that on the bag. Yeah. Let's see what they bullshit. Wait. What about Kendrick's verse? Nope. Well, how does it end? In 10 seconds. Are you serious? Most definitely. Are you. Alright, stop. Well, y'all already know how what we feel about that track because we did it in our um, reaction to Black Panther soundtrack. I don't know why he put that on there. It's now on two albums. I mean, I get why it's on there. Well, because it's a dope verse by J-Rock, right? It's his most played song on Spotify. Is that right? Mm -hmm. This is under J-Rock? Mm -hmm. Kendrick's verse and switch up is what makes this song so good. You take away that, it's not a good track. Sure it is. I just completely dis yeah, it's a good track. Nah, nah. Kendrick Kendrick really nah. gives it that energy, but it's still a good track. No, nah, I disagree. Futures verse is horrible. J Rock's verse is good, but it's playful. J Rock. It's not like that's what makes it so good. The contrast between Kendrick and J Rock when he comes in. When Kendrick's taking off this track, I don't think it's a good track. Okay. I, I think it doesn't need to be on this album, even if it's a popular track that will attract people to go listen to this album. Once again, it's another way. I think it's TD just be like, you need this track on there to bring more people. You need this track. You need to, like. <sighs> I'm very disappointed. Next track. I'm very disappointed. There's so many good tracks in this album, though. There is. Oh! Oh! Okay, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. No! Oh, we got 10 seconds of, of good J Rock. We did this, bro. We just did this. We just did this. Changed. Oh my god, he shivered. Oh no. The beat's so good though. It's got potential, man. You know what, J Rock? You said you never changed up in this track. What that? If you never changed up, what's this track? This track isn't good. It's just annoying because every track that I hear that he either puts auto tune on or tries something different, like 
the beat's so good that I can hear him doing something else in there that would make this track great. Like if, if that's he, what really fucks you, right? It does, huh? If he if he changed the way he did the way on the tracks I didn't like on this, he'd have a great album. This 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 is this is to me like Follow Me Home. If you've listened to Follow Me Home, this is our first uh, album under Strange Music and TDE. Mm-hmm. It's got some amazing tracks on there, like Code Red and No Joke. But then there's also so many terrible tracks on there. Like I go back to Follow Me Home for tracks, not the album. This track is very similar to Follow Me Home. I mean this this album. There's some real fucking amazing tracks that just blow you away, and there's tracks that just infuriate the fuck out of you. Like I can see this being so much more. Very similar to Follow Me Home. We don't need to really say much more on that. You said it. <sighs> At this rate, I'm expecting this track to be great and the next one to be bad. I know, right? It's like. Buh, 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 I know, buh. right? Yeah, this track's gonna be good. I can tell. But just the track, the way he tracks in between, like it just doesn't. It's a work. weird flow as a co. It breaks up the cohesiveness massively. Yeah. Can I do my shits, Nick? Can I be specific? Yeah. Can I taste this whip without looking too big for my bridges? Now here we yeah. up and say she freed a thousand slaves. Could have freed a thousand more if they was aware of the chains. What's under the world's remaining unexplained? Even when it's staring back at you like an enemy tattoo. If you should have played the statue, I'd take action without quitting until I reach my point of satisfaction. Morphine and overcame and gone to pain. Still don't change the diagnosis. Pessimistic thoughts. Yeah, man, it's he's like a girl that you have in high school. It's just like she's like, oh, all her friends are like giggling, like, oh, this girl really likes you. She's like, oh, really? And you ask out, she's like, nah, I don't like you. I like this guy. And it's like, okay. And then it's like, oh, wait, I like you again. It's like a high school relationship. If it wasn't so up and down, we could really get into this deep, <sighs> like, intense engagement with the album. But it, the structure of this album fucks me up. Like, yeah. this is such a good track. He's saying so much on here. He's he's really just fucking laying it out here. Like, C- can I can I grab mm, a line mm. for you? Harry Tubman said she freed a thousand slaves. Could have freed a thousand more if they was aware of the chains. Fuck. What's under the rugs remaining unexplained. Truth is mostly taboo, even where it, when it's staring back at you like an enemy tattoo. Fuck me, man. That's that's such a crazy amount of dope lines right there. And like the whole track just progresses from there as well. It's just like, and the beat just like laces it so perfectly to hear. Like I said, J Rock's voice. Over that soulful piano, like you can just hear it. You can just hear it in it. The him. soul, right? Like the I'm passion. Not, I'm just like, yo, man, with all those other tracks you're doing, put them on mixtapes. Or fuck, make this shit a mixtape. If you want if you want your fans to hear the fucking shit auto-tune and fucking hype and club sort of fucking shit trash you're putting out, make that your album. Give us the good shit to mix. Just separate the shit, man. This structuring is pissing me off because these tracks are fucking amazing. And I really love this track. It's for oh. those coming up, right? Mm. B is for the blood, R is for the roads, O is for oppression, K for the kush, mm. E is for evolution. Yeah. What a beautiful structuring of the chorus. That is so beautiful, man. j that's 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 a fucking amazing track. All I know is when I go back to this album, I'm just going to grab the tracks I like and that's going to be the album for me. Fuck, man. All the albums are seven tracks these years. I'll make my own seven track album out of this. <laughs> I ain't fucking kidding. No, he's not. He deletes tracks. I do. Right? This is going to be trash, probably. Hey, K Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Here we go. 
Better, better. It's a fun track. It is a fun track, and it, I don't think Kendrick's first verse was anything special. I think it's pretty mediocre. No. Um, for Kendrick, luckily towards the end, they both kind of saved that track for me a little bit and made it a, a better track. But I don't think this track is really. It's fun. I, it's I don't special. I don't take it as anything that's meant to do with the album. It's called Wow Freestyle. It's kind of like they just got in the booth and they were having fun with it. Like I, I honestly think that this is an album material, and I would have released it just as like you know how Tyler released that track four three five. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what this should have yeah, been. Yeah, great point. Like, Feeling them in the studio having fun. Like, it's, it's, I find it a fun track. I don't think it's necessarily a great track, but like, just hearing them back and forth, just spitting, you know, just spitting bars, and then at the end, the end was the highlight, of course, but like, I don't think this is album worthy material. Man, where's School Way Q and Absol at, though? And Isaiah Rashad. Get them on this shit. Well, what, what about. You're missing one. Scissor? Well, what about her, man? What? What about, what about the beautiful Scissor? Yeah, get Scissor on this bitch. Wait, is she on this? I think about if my motorcycle crash was fatal. Broken bones, internal bleeding, stretched on the table. Going through surgery, two machines helping me breathe. I see more division. I see some of them showing up just to post the picture like they was my nigga. Instagram's a dead man's best friend. Everybody looking for likes, but was it like you went? Nice storytelling. Yeah, I really like it. It's kind of like, it's talking about, it, just, it sounds like it's talking about a girl that he had a real good thing for, but obviously he made a lot of bad decisions. And then he had like a life death experience that made him realize, I didn't, I shouldn't have been doing all this shit. I should have been pursuing this chick. Right, I'm just looking at the song right now. That's kind of um, the vibe I got. It's going to play win in the background. Get out the way, get out the way. Uh, uh, just to, for a foreshadowing, like we've already reviewed win. As so, a yeah. single. So if yeah. you guys want to watch, just go watch our single review. Yeah. If it is a part of the album, we're sorry, but we have reviewed it. So we'll, we'll include it in the, con the conclusion of this album when we, when we have a final thought on it soon. Very soon. Yeah, he had a near-fatal motorcycle uh, accident. I remember reading up about that, so... And I think it's a beautiful um, feature by Scissor as well. She mm. so elegantly um, delivered her verse. Yeah, she was highlight of the track for me. She was really good. All right. Um, but it's, I feel like Redemption... So you talk about redemption and like him getting a second chance at life by not by not dying in an accident, or is he talking about also the chick giving him a second chance as well? Uh, maybe both. I would say both are probably relevant. But if that's the redemption of the album, like why isn't it more in there? Yeah, like why didn't he talk about his motorcycle accident more? Mm. I mean, he might have, but I, I might have missed it. Like I would have felt like all the other tracks he talked about it that could play along with the redemption theme. Right. Um, so so let's maybe he's being redeemed now. in many other ways in like music and stuff. But mm. as an album. I'll just finish off my thoughts. It's like yeah. th this album structuring is extremely questionable. The way J-Rock um, takes you from track to track, uh, takes you on this weird kind of up and down uh, vocally. His delivery is what distracts you the most. Mm. It's like, oh, I'm getting a super powerful, a lyrically strong track and then I'm pulled out into a club and then I'm in the fucking making love with Jeremiah and shit. That is what kind of brings this album a lot down for me. This album has a huge potential. Jarek, this album has huge potential to be a very powerful album because you're saying a lot of important things on this album. Production-wise, is mostly very good. Um, mm. However, these tracks um, that we didn't like so much take away from the overall cohesiveness of the album, and that's my first reaction thoughts. Yeah, Please. man. I'm sure you'll have similar thoughts. The Bloodiest was an amazing opener. For what it's worth, was a dope sec uh, second tune. Then I think Knock It Off was bad. ES Tales, I think I liked. Then there was like Rotation 112. I can't tap out was bad. OSOM with J. Cole was dope. Yep. King's Dead did not need to be there. Agreed. I think Troopers was bad and Broke was good. Then Wow, Freestyle was like, eh. Uh. Like, 
all in all, I don't like this album. You don't? Oh, really? What? Oh, wow. as, a, as a total? Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. I feel like for what this it's called redemption, and like we said, we don't hear enough about that. The tracks that are really good are amazing, but the tracks that are really bad, like it doesn't even even out in the end. I feel like in the end, like what I was expecting from J Rock after nine double oh five nine, which every track is good, and it really nine oh double five about where he's from, and every track has a thing to Powerful. do with that, and it, and it all it all adds up in the yeah. end, like that that album wraps up so perfect which is why I was expecting this to be such a fucking amazing album but it's just like following me home it's just like his first album under strange music it's just like there's, there's there's so much bad that I just can't listen to this whole album again and try and get it I mean I will and I'll try and get it but like I'm, I'm honestly just gonna go back to this album for the tracks that blew me away yeah it's, it's a bit disappointing but you know what can we do, man? A lot of people are going to appreciate all these aspects too and be yeah. like, oh, this is great. Like, if you're enjoying J-Rock trying all these new things, good for you. I'm glad that you can enjoy it for that. But as for me, I'm, I'm actually quite disappointed. But we're, as, as music reviewers, guys, you got to think what perspective we're coming from. We're not coming from like the average fan. Oh, this is cool, whatever. Like, we're really trying to give it a, a, a fair critique. And also the way with the Road to Redemption, they, they, they talked it up about like, oh, he represents this and that, that. Like, I just, I just don't hear what they mentioned in that trailer in this album. It's oh, like, it's in the tracks, man. It's just not cohesive throughout the theme. No, it wasn't a cohesive album and I'm, I'm really disappointed. I thought J-Rock would do a lot better than this. And uh, I hope that the other TDE releases this year are good. Like, I think Isaiah Rashad's coming out. I'm super excited for that. He's my favorite member after Kendrick from TDE. And uh, I don't know who else is dropping. Maybe Q, but... Yeah. There, there you go, y'all. Jungle Beats, man. That's what we do. We review and critique music from all around the world. Yep. Give you a different Australian perspective, mate. It's a no from me, J-Rock. But, uh, Ooh, I'm, really but I'm, I'm still a fan, man. So, you know, keep doing your thing. I hope this thing brings you a lot. And if you come to Australia, I'll still see you, man. Mm. 9059 is a classic in my book. So, you know, fuck me. Look at my foul, nigga with the scar buck.